everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another book review. I just read John Grisham's The Testament, and this was actually suggested to me by somebody at work, a security guard, believe it or not, and he had a copy of this very book, and he was reading it for the fifth time, and now I can see exactly why, because it's a very human story, and it's one of how these things actually do happen with last wills and testaments, and I have heard of them happening. I haven't encountered it myself. Actually, I encountered it slightly with a, a friend of mine, and her significant other had all these accusations hurled at him, which he had no part of, and people were being extremely greedy, but Sometimes in the matter of an estate, this is more common than not. And that's why it always pays to have a really good lawyer, or two or three, <laughs> in order to enact the legalese to work for you rather than against you and to understand how the system works and justice and getting your due and, and doing your due diligence on that part. But this is the tale of this... Um, this man, he knows that he's very close to death, and he's nihilistic at this point, and he just doesn't see any point in going on, and he's just, he's decrepit, and he's starting to fail in his health, and then he decides to off himself, which is kind of a spoiler. I'm sorry that I gave away a little bit of the plot of the book, but... It goes on to describe him and just how cruel he was and how um, unfeeling and cold and unkind and the fact that his siblings, no, excuse me, not his siblings, but his family is looking forward to seeing everything divided equally. But of course, I'm not going to say anything else or it'll... Like I said, it'll, it'll give away a, a huge portion of the book. But uh, this this book also has to do with Brazil, and I won't say why, but that's just another little inkling as to what occurs. But it's a very human story, and there's also romance involved, but it's a suspense in the, uh, the truest sense of the word. And John Grisham really evokes a very good suspenseful tale one that's very rollicking and electrifying and compelling and relatable because we have a main character a very young lawyer named Nate who who goes to find what he's looking for in Brazil I won't say who he's looking for because that is a very important integral part of the, the story and um, I read it in a day. I, c I could not put it down. It was that good. It was just phenomenally written. Mr. Grisham has just such a way with uh, keeping you engaged as a reader. And you really feel an empathy for these characters, especially for Nate, as uh, he begins to, to change and transform and start to act in a different way. And he's encountering things that he never thought he would encounter before. And he's out of his element. He is literally out of his element as a fish out of water. And you think, oh boy, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be where he is right now. And he finds himself in a bit of trouble that almost ends his life. And he seems like he's hanging on a thread. But <clears throat> what happens is really quite touching. And it's just a, a real testament, pardon the fun, to the goodness that human beings can possess and I really feel that in and of itself that is uplifting. I feel that human beings by nature are good. Well, most of us are. There are those of us who are just evil straight up. <laughs> I mean, there's no getting around it. There, there you have a uh, You've got dark, you've got light, you've got sh you have shades and gradients in between. But then you have those who are what I call, like to call the dark entities, the ones that just are pure evil, and like Hitler, <laughs> no offense. But, I mean, yeah, he, d he deserved the burial that he got, but he was still just a, a rancorous, 
horrible person and <laughs> being a World War II buff, I can say that with great confidence and facts to back me up. He just was a demon. <laughs> no offense. Uh, don't really have that much else to say about this book other than it gave me a really good look into just the atmosphere, the untamed nature of the the jungle of Brazil. And it makes me want to go to the Brazil that much more. I thought, this sounds like such a magical, mystical, ethereal place that I just I have to see with my own two eyes because I've seen pictures before and I know that pictures do not do anything justice and I can vouch for this being a photographer in my spare time they just don't nothing can capture well a picture can capture the essence of a moment suspended in time but picture cannot capture vibrance it cannot capture the um the joie de vie or whatever you're looking for the je ne sais quoi of of the 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 actual subject that you're taking the photograph of. So if I'm taking the photograph, I'm just looking at something beautiful most of the time, or just something that captures my eye, something's different. I'll take a photograph, and that way I can suspend it and hold on to it. And other things I take pictures of because I can't afford it, and it's something that I just want to savor and think, oh, that was adorable may hold on to it for the rest of my life and beyond <coughs> excuse me but as i was saying the testament is is just a book about um just uh, the cruelty of human beings the the greed the corruption and then you've got those who are unaffected by the world and it's uh, temptations and they are driven by something beyond the veil I should say that something that is what we cannot touch or see or comprehend but yet we know it's there and we believe it's all about faith it's belief and faith and hope hope in that there's something more and something better than The physical. And I always thought that was really quite marvelous in and of itself. But that's all I have to say about the testament. And thank you to the, the security guard who actually recommended this to me. Because, indeed, it truly was a marvelous read. And if you like John Grisham, you're going to eat it up. You, you will love it. Because I remember reading The Pelican Brief. That's the only one I read long time ago I, I just I love his style and uh like I said he's very good at depicting good emotion and how characters act and interact and it flows very seamlessly and it's just you think the genius of his writing is just <laughs> it's breathtaking but like I said I, I could really see just the, how vivid uh, Brazil was and uh, the different creatures and the dangers and some, how many alligators there were there when, when Nate actually goes and that's all he ever sees are alligators. He thinks, I'm going to get tired of alligators. It's the jungle. What did you expect? But um, that's all I have to say about uh, the Testament. And uh, all of you take care and have a wonderful week. Blessings. Live long and prosper. Ciao, Tootsie.